Well, well, well. It is a sad day when I have to say I told you so. And uh, actually, it's not a sad day. It's a very happy day indeed. We have confirmation that Winsong has power crept Jiu. I personally have not got to play with her yet, but I've been doing my research because I told you guys she's my favorite character in the game so far. So I was looking in. Pride win and another couple of people have reached out to me and showed me some video footage and everything like that of her doing some absolutely bonkers damage. We're going to go ahead and take a look at something. I'm going to put this up here on the screen so that way we can go ahead and take a look. Can we can we zoom in a little bit more? Oh, it's a little small. Let's see. Let me save it. We'll go ahead and save that bad boy. And we'll save this bad boy right here. And let's go ahead and open them up. So. Let's check this out. This over here. This is the three target DPS. For all of the main damage dealers. And as we can see, it shows all of their portraits. And this is done by Predwin. So shout out to them, obviously, for getting this information and everything out there. Whereas I don't have a scene account, so I don't have the luxury of doing this. But I like to follow Predwin, and I like to follow a couple other creators and stuff that play with these characters before I get a chance to. That way I can make some decisions for you guys on the free-to-play journey. That being said, this is the information that they've come up with. This is the three um, target DPS, and this is the single target DPS. Let's go ahead and zoom into this bad boy right here. Now, as we can see Winsong here, her P0 is performing on about the exact same scale as Jiu's P2. What does this say right here? It says that she's cracked. Now, nah, I'm just playing. The reason I'm bringing this up, and I'm not trying to, you know, egg anyone on or, or say anything negative about power creeping in the community and stuff like that, because I, I, I believe that it is necessary for characters to inherently have better abilities or more power and stuff like that for a community that wants to continuously grow their accounts and everything. Now, should they like truly just outperform everyone on a scale like this? I mean, this this looks pretty insane. This was to what is this the second uh event after Jiu? so already we had a limited banner one that she's not even going to return and then we have a character that's coming out two events after her that is already performing better at a p0 than she was performing at a p2 and that is for single target and for three target as well, her P0 right here performing almost at or a little bit over. I can't really tell. I don't have my glasses. I left them upstairs um, at a P0 versus a P2. Now, is this a problem? I don't think that it is. And I'm actually very excited for this because it's OK for characters to get stronger over time. It, it's not a bad thing. It, it's not going to make other characters invaluable or anything like that, like. Let's look at 37, for example. 37 was our current star of latest, uh, I guess, top DPS before um, Jiu. And then Jiu came out. She became the top. And then we had Spathodea. I'm sorry, we had Spathodea, then Jiu. And then um, Marcus came out, which was another one that kind of crept up in power. And then we had Jiu as well. So all of these characters right here. They've inherently gotten stronger over time from like the first uh, characters we've had, like a Melania, a Jessica, uh, a Knight, Kalabana, Centurion, uh, Shaman, all those other ones. That's funny. They have Shaman in here as a main damage dealer. He is cracked, too. He is insane once you get him up there. But that being said, um, it, it's it's more the way that her kit works. And it does take I would say it does take uh, more of a proper setup, which is probably not going to happen in every single scenario. It's definitely not gonna happen in faster fights. Uh, these setups, I'm assuming uh, that they're on raids that allow for the setup and everything to happen. So don't be scared in the fact that, oh, she's just power creeping insane and she's gonna be able to do this with these. 
it, it does take some setup. It, it's not something that's just going to happen on auto battle. You know, it's not something that is uh, just inherently making her better. She's just doing bigger numbers because of her numbers. But it's just the way that her kit works. And they they were kind enough to give us a little preview. Unfortunately, this preview is in like freaking 480p. But if we look right here, <laughs> her her big, you know, ability and everything like that has to do with leaving cards here on the field to allow for her follow up attack to get the utmost damage out of a single turn or a single you know, way that she uses it after her ult, any of the cards left over. This person put in some absolute work to make this happen. So that being said, yes, she is able to outperform any other character by miles in a single turn on single target or three targets in a single turn. If you take, what is this, 10 turns in? This is 10 turns in that allowed this setup to happen. So it took 10 turns of a battle to set this up. That's not too bad. I mean, come on. She's not like one cycling something and she's instantly killing stuff on one turn. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm sorry for the bad quality. It's all they had um, for right now, but let's take a look at this. It's hilarious. I mean, it really is absolutely hilarious. Limited scale, infinite lines. Here we go. <laughs> I saw this. I just laughed. Calculating distance. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Bro, she's hitting for. Hold on. She was hitting for a hundred something K on each of those. That was crazy. I actually didn't notice that the first time. Look at these numbers she's popping off 74,000. Bro, they went from a B rank up to a triple S rank in a single turn. Was it a B rank? Let me go back and look. Yeah, a B plus. Look at this. A B plus 224,000. That's where her damage was at. Now she's going. 224K. She's about to drop these bad boys on her head. Calculating distance. 369. 514. 669. 814 <laughs> 951 bro come on girl a million Jordy they 800k in a single turn uh-huh bro she did 900 something thousand damage in a single turn yes it did take a lot of setup yes it was uh insanely niche for something like that to happen but the ability, like I was talking about before, like her overall just gaining crit, gaining crit damage and just graining, gaining damage overall, I told y'all it was going to be insane. 100% she power crept you. Are we going to keep seeing this? 100% as well. I guarantee in the next two patches, two, three events, what are we on? 1.8, uh, 2.0, she's getting power crept. Whoever the DPS is 2.0, she's getting power crept. Whoever's up there. Power crap, 100%. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for stopping by. I just wanted to talk about this because I thought it was hilarious and she is my favorite character. I'm skipping Jiu. Nah, I'm playing. I'm still grabbing her. Jiu slaps brains and she's more consistent, I would say. So don't, don't get scared from this. Don't skip out on Jiu. Grab you a copy of her. If you want to grab a, a, a P0 win song, you're in a good spot free to play. We are, we are cooking with this one. We are 100% cooking with her. She is going to slap brains like no one's business. Anyways, guys, I'll see y'all. Uh, actually, I will be out tomorrow. So if you're watching this today on Friday, Saturday, I'm going to be gone. I'll be back on Sunday and we're announcing the winners for the contest on Sunday. So I'll see you guys then. I hope you all have a great weekend.